डोंट डू दिस एवर दिस इज वॉट द टाइटन यू हैव रेड एंड केम टू वॉट दिस वीडियो करेक्ट सो वॉट यू शुड नॉट डू एवर प्लीज इग्नोर दिस साउंड सम कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क इज गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड माई हाउस आई वॉज वेटिंग सिंस फ्रॉम पास्ट हाफ एन आवर बट दिस साउंड इज नॉट स्टॉपिंग आई जस्ट ट्राई टू बी लाउडर जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू पीपल डोंट लिजन दिस साउंड you can concentrate to me and listen to me carefully because today's topic is really really important so make sure to listen to me carefully thanks for stopping by my name is nazia welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel in this channel we are making videos on career related topics so if you are interested please go and subscribe to my channel just by clicking on the red button and also enable the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever i upload any new video okay and also soon i'm going to start my vlogging channel i'm i have not yet started you people are messaging me please start your vlogging channel also but i have not started yet just because i have already told i need some good number of subscriber to start the vlogging channel that's why i am waiting for it if you really want me to start my vlogging channel also soon please go and subscribe so that i'll reach to the subscriber count whatever i am expecting okay so once i reach to that i'll start making it definitely if you have subscribed it already then thank you so much for subscribing to my channels so let's start with the video today today we are going to discuss on the topic called absconding so if you people already messaged me saying that we have absconded already we have worked for just one month two months three months or some people have just join onboarded for one day and then they have absconded so people are already sending me messages saying please make a video on absconding what exactly the problem we can face if we abscond from any company here i come up with a video today just to let you know people what exactly you will face the problem if you abscond from any company see absconding is not a great idea you will have some other options as well absconding is not the only option to get away from any company okay there are so many options you can convince them to relieve you because you are not interested to the job see why you do absconding first of all let just understand why you want to abscond from any organization might be i am just assuming this situations might be you are not finding that project interesting whichever you are working on that's why you want to abscond that project that project manager is not ready to relieve you okay that's why you want to abscond without any notification without any notice to the company you want to abscond and you want to join any other company this might be the one reason and second reason would be you have got some better might be you have interviewed in some other organization before going to this company which you want to abscond that organization has given you the offer letter which is having some good package and also the project is really really good which you want to join which you have which you are really interested to join might be because of that you are thinking let just abscond from this as they are not ready to relieve me in the project that's why let just get abscond from the company this might be the second reason the third reason would be you are interested to join some other company but as that company has not yet released the offer to you so till they get release the offer you have joined this company which you want to abscond now okay now you got that company's offer you want to join that company that company is your dream company or some good company or that company is in your uh, city or some other th some uh, reason is there for that okay that company has given the offer to you now now you want to abscond from this company as as already you have signed the bond in this company that i will work for at least one or one and a half year in this company then only i am going to decide whether i have to continue or i need to leave that also might be the reason to get absconded from this company okay these are the three reasons might be some other reasons is also there but the major three reasons which i usually receive the comments or in the instagram i receive the messages so usually the reasons will be among this okay that's why i am discussing on this if any reason whatever it is if i have not discussed also here the reason whatever you are thinking to abscond so whatever the reason is see absconding is not the only option to get rid of any company to get away from any company you are having lot more other options you can convince them to so look for better ways to quit talk to them face it no one can force you to work without your consent make sure that nobody can force you to work if you are not interested if you are not interested nobody should force you to work in their organizations this is a primary rule in any organization i know they are having some notice periods to get relieve you from their organization they are having so many policies and procedure which you have to follow but if you are not interested you want to leave right away you don't want to uh, go with the notice period you don't want to go through the notice period there will be some or the other options you have to discuss with them then only they will tell you 
see these options they are not going to tell you directly like when you are joining if you don't want to if you are not interested you can leave the organization right away you have that option also they are not going to tell this option you just speak with them make sure that whenever you speak you don't give your exact reason so that they are directly they will tell no don't give such reasons if you are having any serious reasons if you really don't want to work in that organization then please give some serious reasons which they also after listening they will think that no you want to resign right away they have to give the option for that so so that they will provide you that option you can resign the organization with their acceptance also that is really really good so don't quit the organization just because of some silly reasons okay don't get absconded just because of some silly reasons this may lead you to some big problem i am telling you seriously i have listened to many people saying that we got absconded and we are now facing some legal formalities some legal uh, consequences we are facing right now because of just a simple reason we have left the organization we thought it will not be a problem but we are facing the problem right now so i am telling you people if you want to get absconded okay please if you if you are having any reason to leave the organization right away without serving the notice period please talk to the hr manager please talk to your manager personally and ask them what i can do if i don't want to serve the notice period is there any option they will provide you the option okay i am telling you the best thing whatever you can do it let me put the light on some good aspects okay see what will happen is let's say i have never done this let me clear you i have never done this in my career i will never do this absconding and all i don't do any mischiefs ever makes my career in risk those things i will never do it in any situation okay so that's what i will suggest you people also don't get absconded see if you get absconded what so, will happen you just need to what people will tell is if you want to get absconded you just need to pay some amount to get your relieving letter or experience letter you just need to pay some amount and immediately you can leave it some organization will provide you that option also okay you have to pay some amount get your relieving letter and experience letter see some of my uh, colleagues which were which was there in my previous organization they were telling me saying that when we were thinking to abscond we have discussed this with our colleagues uh, our senior colleagues they have told us like you just need to pay some amount if you want to really if you want to leave the organization immediately without serving the notice period you just need to pay some amount some x amount you have to pay and you can get your experience letter and uh, relieving letter is there that you can get it and you can leave the company as soon as you want that option is there like that the colleagues has told them they have followed that absconding is not a great idea right so that's why i'm telling you if you people also thinking to get absconded then please ask your senior colleagues who is not in the management of hr roles like uh, hr managers or your managers not that person your colleagues who is senior to you two year three years four year senior to you you can ask them you want to leave the organization what are the options is available rather than absconding they will give you some options now let's just discuss on the few disadvantages of getting absconded okay if you get absconded what will be the consequences you can face after absconding let me tell you see first of all you don't get the pay whatever the uh, period you have worked let's say you have worked for almost one month now you are going to abscond at the date of 25th or 26th you are going to abscond you have not yet received your salary you don't get the pay for that month and also the notice period payout will get elapsed and also if any payment is there which is in hold with the company that is also not going to pay for you that is the first loss the second thing will be they are not going to give you the experience letter and the relieving letter which is required to join any other organization if you are having experience of at least 3 or 4 months also that is the experience right they are going to ask you see if you are getting absconded 3 months you have worked now you are, you have absconded from that company what will happen is you are going to join some organization right you have to show your experience letter or the relieving letter of this organization which you have absconded to so your new organization right so at that time this people is not going to give you the relieving letter and the experience letter correct so that company will ask you where is your relieving letter and the experience letter you will tell i have not worked then this 3 months what you have did that will leads to a negative impact on the employer whichever you are going to join so this is the second loss third is the absconder will be left with a bad reputation he or she will be put into the blacklist of that company and never get hired back 
you are not going to get hired again in that organization that will be the third loss and the fourth one will be you have worked for four to six months also and now you have absconded the other organization even that organization will not going to take you if they find like you are having something behind three to four months what you have did that they will think might be you have absconded might be you have not worked might be you are lazy might be you are not that much uh, dedicated towards your work might be you are not that much dedicated towards your career they think like that that will make your reputation really really bad that will be the fourth loss fifth will be see when you are going to abscond any organization they may take any legal action against you so the company can take any legal action against you they can file the case against you and they can take the action that you have taken anything anything they can file against you as you have get absconded this i'm not telling that they are going to take for sure if the company take it seriously then definitely they are going to file the case against you that you have got absconded if you have signed any bond they can take it okay i'm not telling they will take it but they have the option to file the case against you they have the option to take the action against you as per the labor law okay this is the fifth one one more loss will be if you have worked on that organization for almost six months or eight months also that experience you should not take into the consideration right that much experience will be removed from your resume you have to remove it because you, you you don't want to showcase that right you have get absconded if you want to showcase you have to get the relieving letter the experience letter from that organization that organization will definitely going to mention if you pay also some organization is going to mention that absconded that is one word is really 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 bad for your future career i am telling you if they mention that this company whichever you are going to join that company people is not going to take you because you have absconded they will think might be you can abscond from here also that's why they are not going to take so what you have to do you, you should not showcase your experience that experience will not going to add in your resume that is also not good for you right work for some months and then you are not going to showcase that if you are not going to showcase what will happen they are going to question you what you have did for uh, these many months have you done any course or you have done anything what you have done show me like that the company hr will definitely going to ask you if you don't showcase any particular uh, whatever the year you have not worked or you have get absconded that you have to showcase and also one more big loss what you may face is whatever the identity proofs and everything you have shared with your organization which you got which you have absconded that may get leak see i am telling the consequences which are which are whichever you are going to face it i am not telling this is going to happen for sure but this may happen okay they may they may leak your identity whatever your identity they may leak it and they can showcase to their subsidized companies okay so that you will not get hired to that company as well and there are so many other disadvantages also so leaving any organization with bad notes is not good at all right so don't do this so these are the consequences you may face if you are going to abscond from any organization okay see people will think if we get absconded only thing is we should not get hired to that company that is fine we have to pay some amount and we can get our documents that is also fine but whatever whatever the consequences i discuss that is also there please do look into it please do understand carefully okay this is not one or two days is going to happen this is this will be there with you lifelong you're going to you're not going to get paid you're having the bad reputation in the market in few companies you may face the legal cases you'll get blacklisted from the company i'm not telling me you will get blacklisted from the company if you get absconded you will always be in a guilt or fear that we don't know what will happen with us in next upcoming days that guilt will be there you're not going to face your boss or the manager in future so better look for some good options before quitting it face the problem talk with them there will be some or the other options available other than absconding that's what i can suggest to you people so please don't get abscond from any company this is really really bad for your future for yourself please don't get absconded see if you already left the organization you already get absconded from any organization what i will suggest is please put the mail to that organization if you have any contacts or something from the senior management or the hrs you can put one mail to that organization saying these are the problems i was going through that's why i have absconded please 
don't take any serious action i was not having the intention to do it but the situation was like that that's why i got absconded please don't take any serious action this will spoil my career so that convince them just make sure that you will write the words in such a way that they will get convinced with this mail they should not take any legal action if they want to if they are willing to or if they are thinking to take the action against you they will stop it by looking into your message or might be because of this mail they might remove your name from the blacklisted candidates might be i'm not sure might be give some strong reasons so that they should not take any action against you you can do it or if you are ready to take the action whatever they'll take then it is fine then it is up to you whatever you want to do it you can do else you can do this small thing whatever i'm suggesting you that yeah. will definitely relieve you from any legal consequences it absconded from any organization what you can do is this is some thing which i got to know i'm telling you but this is not right but still if you got absconded if they are not ready to accept your apologize also then please close any uh, if any bank account is linked with that organization please close that bank account and if you have any pf created from that uh, company remove that deactivate that or stop that un and create new un in the new organization it will be better this is not the right option i'm telling i'm just suggesting if you have done it already what you have to do but from now on don't do this ever okay this is what i can suggest you please don't do this ever after watching this video okay that's why i just mentioned don't do this ever so that everybody watch this video and come to know what exactly the consequences they can face after getting absconded from any organization okay so if you are watching this video please like the video if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done already and also enable the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever i upload any new video you will get really information video in this channel please go and subscribe to my vlogging channel also and if you want to have any communication with me please follow me on instagram okay okay guys thank you so much for watching bye bye